Now, here is Color Management 2.0. What do you do now? Your artwork and your Photoshop file is ready for output. Well, as a review, the first wave of color management happens before any editing is performed. For our class, we break that down into four steps. Calibrate your display, which is optional for anyone in this class. Uh, choose a Photoshop color space. Synchronize color space settings across all Adobe programs. And then assign document color profile. The second wave of color management happens after you finish all of your editing and you're ready to output your project. The output could be either printing or exporting. We'll break the second phase into six steps. First, save a copy of your finished project so that you don't destroy the original file. Two, convert your color mode if you need to. So again, we said always work in RGB, but sometimes you'll need to change that color mode to CMYK. Soft proof your image on screen to see what it would look like before you output it or print it. Perform any color edits that you need based on your soft proof results. Export your file to any needed file format, and this, this isn't always a requirement, so it's only if it's applicable for your needs. And then last, you can print, again, if it's applicable. Sometimes your end goal is not to print, and it's to display it on a website, and so then you would stop after step five. The process of outputting a Photoshop project for print or web probably will cause destructive changes in your file. We recommend to save a copy of your finished project so the original remains safe while any editing is applied to the copy. Once a copy of your finished product has been saved, it's time to convert your file to the correct color mode for your intended output. It should be an RGB color mode when editing, but may require a different color mode when you're outputting. Use RGB color mode for images destined for the web or photo quality inkjet printers that use more than just CMYK ink. Use CMYK for all commercial printing options like offset, offset lithography, screen printing, and flexography, unless otherwise instructed by your service provider, which would be your commercial printer. If your print file contains spot colors, you will still use CMYK color mode, and just make sure that you don't flatten your spot colors when saving or exporting. You'll want to select the option to preserve spot colors or leave color unchanged when prompted during output. And this here is a picture of the inks in the Canon printer and you can see it has a lot more than just the CMYK inks.